In a lot of my videos, you will see me sitting here talking to you, but then you will also see my phone screen in this view. And in this view, not only are you seeing the phone screen, I can actually also interact with my phone using my mouse and keyboard on my computer. This makes it really, really easy to show you things, demo features and so forth on literally any Android device that I use. And to do this, I use a program called Screen Copy. And Screen Copy is great for this type of thing, but it's also great for one additional thing on your Samsung devices. And that is restoring the ability to use Samsung DeX within your Windows computer. For a long time, that was an option. You would install this DeX for PC application, you would fire it up, and you could just connect to that with your Samsung Galaxy phone, and you could run DeX inside your computer. But with One UI 8, that has gone the way of the Dodo. It is gone, so you need a workaround. And I'm going to show you how to use Screen Copy to do exactly this. So the first thing you need to do on your phone is enable developer options. I'm sure you've already seen this a million times, but you're going to go into about phone. You're going to click on software information and then come down to build number. Click it a bunch of times until developer options is enabled. Then when you go into developer options, you're going to scroll down and you're going to turn on USB debugging. Now for this to work correctly, I also did have to change one more thing in developer options. I scrolled all the way down and I don't know which one actually did it. It was either enable freeform windows on secondary display or multi-window for all apps. I'm not entirely sure. For some reason, one of these was making this not work completely correctly. My windows would open, but I wouldn't have the controls up at the top of the screen. So that's what my, my settings look like to make this work. So now you're going to go to the link in the description for screen copy. And I know that that says S-C-R-C-P-Y, but it's pronounced screen copy. You're going to look for the releases over here. The latest release is 3.3.2. We're going to click on that. We're going to scroll down. And I'm looking for the Win64 version. It's going to come in a zip file that we will extract. Over here on my downloads folder, we're going to right click on that and you should see the extract all button or if you have 7-zip or WinRAR or something like that something else like that installed we can use that just to extract this i'm going to extract it into its own folder and you'll see all of these files now from there what we're going to do is plug in our phone and then you can run the screen copy exe and whenever you run this you're going to have this window pop up you're probably going to have something appear on your phone that's going to ask you if you want to allow uh, a connection basically to your phone and if you say yes it's going to pop up and show you this screen. Now you may be saying, Shame, this is not Samsung DeX. This is just your phone screen, but we need to do one more thing and we'll be there. You may notice there's a file that says, open a terminal here. And that does a very convenient thing. It actually opens a terminal here. So then from there, what you can do is go into the description and grab the command that I have pasted in and simply copy that with control C and then right click in this window I'm still playing around with this last number. This here is the resolution that you want it to display in. And this is basically like the DPI and the lower the number, the smaller everything is going to be. We're going to see what 150 looks like. Let's hit enter, drag the window into place. And there we go. This is Samsung DeX. And if you hit Alt F, it will go properly full screen. Let's fire up my web browser. And as you can see here, this looks pretty darn good. This looks like a normal web browser. This is actually... Uh, on my website itself and this is just Vivaldi the browser that I use and you've got your controls up here that were for some reason missing for me in the past I don't know what setting it is like I said that fixed that but it's one of those because I tried this and they weren't there and then I toggled and now they are but this is the mouse for my computer and if I go to type up here I can type with the keyboard of my computer as well. You don't need a separate a separate anything. I actually have two monitors in front of me, one that's right here and then Dex on this one. So I have both things happening here. Now there is some slight weirdness to this, okay? So you can like resize these windows and you can see that that worked fine. But actually like finding that point can be a little bit harder because the cursor doesn't like change to tell you. So you got to be right on it in order to do that. You can also normally snap windows to the side 
but I'm having a hard time getting that to actually work. I'm like tossing the window off screen and over here this is happening. So the window snapping thing isn't working super duper great for me. I'm also having some issues where applications aren't appearing over here like they should be. This settings app is open and normally in Dex, what that means is it's going to appear after a line right here so that I can kind of open it back up again. That is also acting strange and not working for me. So it's definitely not quite perfect, but if you absolutely need something like this on your Windows PC, or I guess any kind of computer that can run screen copy, I think that it can run on some other operating systems as well, this does seem to work pretty well. Here's another cool thing you can do. You can see my command here. If you add this minus minus TCPIP command to the end of that, once it's up and running, you can actually unplug your phone. Here's my Z Fold 7, and it is still powering this exactly the same, but I am unplugged. This is how I capture footage on my phone actually quite frequently so that I'm just not tethered. I don't have a phone with a cable plugged into it in front of me where I'm trying to film and I'm using my keyboard and stuff. It's just annoying. So I do it wirelessly and I set it in a charging dock here in front of me, a little stand, and that seems to work just fine for this as well. So guys, it's definitely not a perfect solution, but when the alternative is nothing, I think that it's definitely better than that. Maybe you can play around with my commands there that you've seen and find a better way to do this. Maybe there's a way that actually makes everything work a bit more correctly. This was just something I remember the screen copy could do, the secondary display thing, the new display command. And so I figured I would give it a try and this is how well that has worked. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you figure anything else out that is better. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.